Yo, what's good YouTube man? It's your boy Cohesion and I'm back with another video man. Now today's video, I got a really, really special thing for y'all as far as 2K. This is me showing you guys my top three builds that in 2K25 period that I'm probably gonna be like using or maining as far as cat breakers. Cause just the other day, you know, as uh, with Rise, we get the boost for every time at the end of the season when we win against Elite in Rival Day and after we got our boost, I found out I hit starter three. So I'm like, damn, I got my cat breakers now and shit. Let me go test these motherfuckers out. You know what I mean? So I go test my shit out and turns out, you know, my builds, a lot of them actually changed. Matter of fact, one of my builds names completely changed because of the amount of difference in his play style changed. You know what I mean? So we're going to hop into this. We're going to talk about the builds. I'm going to break down why I think these builds are overpowered as hell. And if this video helps you out or informs you in any kind of way as far as what you want to do for your next few builds or you have any, have any builds now that you want to make them better with cat breakers when you reach that point, hit the like button, leave it in the comments, sub to the channel if you're new, man. We're on the way to big 900, man. Big 1K on the way. But right now we're at 882. Let's just try to go for 10 likes on the vid. That's it. 10 likes on the vid. And without further ado, let's hop into it. All right. So hopping into this, the first build we're going to start off with is my 97 mid-range slasher. This actually used to be, uh, if you guys don't know, this used to be my build. I forgot what the name of the build or like the exact archetype name was before I changed it to mid-range slasher. But if, uh, if you go to my channel, there's a video called the full way forward. This is that build. But the thing about this build that makes him already crazy is that he's already an all around build altogether as far as his attributes go. But now he has contact dunks with an 89 driving dunk. You know what I mean? So he's already at a place right now where he literally cannot be stopped now. Because before I would have to post up, spin off somebody, get to the rim and dunk or fast break dunk. Now I don't have to be scared to stop on the, off the dime, pass to a teammate or shoot a fader from the mid. I can run in and just literally dunk on somebody ass. So... It, it, it's really good to have those those contact dunks in my arsenal in my bag now to be able to execute on the on the court in the park and the rec because i mean who 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 wouldn't want to just go down and throw that bit down on somebody and just and just and just dunk on the you know what i mean so that's that's gonna be the first build that i feel like this build is honestly already like crackhead out the brain you know what i mean but one thing that i actually want to show you guys is with your plus ones you get every pretty much every badge that is like secondary to the build's main stats as a tier two uh badge upgrade so i use mines mostly most of the time on paint patrolling because i have to play the 1v1 court with this build most of the time whenever i'm not uh playing with my uh my homies but high flying denier is also a great badge for this build you get you get it gold i also use post phase phenom because if you use it on post phase phenom you get this shit gold i mean uh, hall of fame and this actually is kind of tough because um with that being on hall of fame you'll be surprised how easy it is to make fades in the ones uh especially being six eight not in one like you're not intending to go down and post somebody up and push them down into the paint you're just trying to get past them to the point where you can you can stop off a certain foot and hit a post fade for uh for the green you know what i mean and then most of the time with my tier ones i'm six eight and i get lightning launch silver most of the time i use my tier one on lightning launch to get it gold because not a lot of six eights get that kind of speed you know what i mean so for my 6'8 to be moving the way he moves, I've seen a lot of people ask like, yo, what's this build? This and this. And I'd be in the, in the proving grounds cooking shit with this build. So this is definitely a crazy ass build, not to mention an even more overpowered build now with cat breakers and having the ability to get contact dunks. All right, hopping into my next build. This build is going to be my 6'2". I think if I'm not mistaken, I've actually never showed this build on the channel. So this might be your guys' first time seeing it, but this is going to be my 6'2". Uh, I guess the easiest his name for the build is a play slasher i mean a play shark he's uh he's basically a taller version of the five nine builds i kind of didn't want to go five nine just because i thought like the five nines were very very sketchy to me just because i thought that i could never contest a shot but clearly i was wrong because them motherfuckers run this game i swear they do but this is the build man you know what i'm saying you got the close shot you got the driving layup so you can get them points down in the paint if you need to on the fast break or if you just need to go down put a floater up or reverse layup or whatever contact whatever you can get in there and uh, attempt to make a good layup 87 mid-range 97 three ball and uh you know just just just, just overall look, look, glance at the build you know what i mean 85 speed 85 agility 80 uh, 82 mid uh perimeter 73 still to get the bare minimum stealing badges like interceptor and 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 uh glove you got the 91 ball hand i mean speed with ball now from the cat breakers the 95 ball handle from the cat breakers and the 99 from the cat breakers for the three point so this gives me every shooting 
badge, legend, and every Hall of Fame dribbling badge. So with that being said, if you ever go to your plus ones, you look at your badges, you can really put any of these on a uh, tier two. Normally I use it on layup mix master just because if I go in for a layup and I need to change out of my layup to go for an and one or to, to draw the foul or even just to switch the layup to, to take a better shot than what I went up with in the originally, it's great. But you also could just throw it on something simple like Dimer and dish the ball to your teammates for our assist. You know, especially with me being a rec player, that's normally normally what I do with my builds. Um, and then for your tier one, I'm thinking that when I when I once I unlock it this season, I might just go ahead and throw down lightning launch once I get my lightning launch hall of fame, then get that lightning launch legend. Because on top of my speed and agility, on top of lightning launch legend, I'm gonna be damn near impossible to guard off the screen. And ISO, ISO game is gonna be a lot harder to stay in front of me just because my quick stop game, hezzy game, and on top of space creation with my dribble moves, it's already gonna be damn near like stressful trying to stay in front of me and guard, you know what I'm saying? That's another, this is the second build that I'm most likely probably gonna main out of all three of these builds. If not, the next build is gonna be my main, but let's hop over into that guy right now. All right, hopping into the last build. Now this build, is probably one of the craziest builds I probably ever made in this game. Cause this game is very, very skimpy on some, some attributes in certain categories, but I tweaked him to the point where he literally cannot be stopped. Now, as you can see, I'm pretty tall. I'm probably about 6'5 on this build, right? 6'5, 6'6. Peep stats though, peep my stats. We got a 99 three ball, 85 mid range, 80, uh, 80 drive and layup, 70 close shot, 74 pass accuracy, 92 ball handle, 86 feeble ball, 50 interior, 80 uh, perimeter, 85 steel. Block's really not all that good right now, but we ain't worried about that. So is the uh, rebound. And the speed and, and agility is 81 to 83. This build is literally the epitome playoff jamal murray let's say that playoff jamal murray this is definitely a, a, a playoff jamal murray build he's definitely kind of what i was going for actually was a jamal murray type build to come off the screens and just be able to hit certain shots for the team and also dish the ball out because with 74 pass accuracy you get the anthony edwards pass uh, passing style and a lot of his animations are kind of like bailout animations for like when you you go up for a shot and you pass out of it even without bailout i can still get those animations and it, it's still pass the ball very effectively very great to, to to my teammates but the biggest thing is the fact that this guy can pretty much do everything that my 6'2 that i just showed you could do but he's taller so he's more dominant in these areas so like with the layup it'll be a lot harder to make a layup over a taller build with having a higher layup but on a shorter build i have a lower layup now on this build but i'm 6'5 so if I just time the layups right, I should be able to get greens over certain people based on my height and and weight versus the 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 mismatch of the overall and stats. You know what I mean? But hopping into the cat breakers, like I said, I got maxed out three ball. And then if I get my plus one at the end of this season for my cat breaker, put that on ball handle, I'll get, if I'm not mistaken, I'll get ankle assassin on Hall of Fame and uh handles for days i'll get hall of fame at 95. so i'm going to be getting a lot of hall of fame dribbling badges but i definitely went with the the 86 uh the 86 speed with ball just because um to get gold lightning launch and then use every season just use my lightning launch on my tier one upgrade in order to get that to uh hall of fame so i'll be having hall of fame lightning launch on a 6-5 point guard that alone is already overpowered because i don't have to use any of my shooting badges if they're legend my lightning launch, I mean, my limitless range about to be legend all, all my batters are pretty much maxed out and then once all of these get maxed out and they'll be maxed out to uh legend then the only thing i really have to use it on is lightning launch because i could go interceptor but i don't really get steals like i mean i get steals but i don't go for steals like that if the ball comes my way then i'm you know i'm snagging it bro so this is these are the builds man these are the builds that are going to definitely get the job done in the park and definitely get the job done in the wreck i've been using them a lot more in wreck anyways and right now with this 6.5, I'm actually averaging a double-double. So it, it, it really is, you know, cool to see how far this game has come, especially with people who just stick in the game and just keep playing this game. They'll definitely have the advantage over newbies or people who, you know, never had the game to begin with. And I feel like that's what kind of comes with this game and why people don't like it so much is because the fact that, you know, they want to have a, a fair level playing field. But if you've been playing this since day one, you shouldn't have to be on the same playing field as somebody who just bought this game yesterday. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's what 2K was doing with the seasons and, and as far as these cat breakers and, and everything like that. So I'm not going to go too deep into that. That's I feel like that's more of a biased opinion because I've been playing 2K for so long. But we're not going to go into that. If you guys enjoyed this video, man, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Turn those post notifications so you guys every time I go live, premiere a video, upload a video, man. And without further ado, 
All of y'all boys stay cold. Have a blessed day. Stay blessed. And I'm out of this bitch gang, no cap. It's a hot, hot this shit again.